So I'm going to go to X Plane Simulator. And I'm going to put the plane at LAX. So it's at LAX right now. I'm going to pause it. Now let's turn on the link to the mission planner. The link has been initiated. Now I'm going to check the control surfaces. Okay. Release the brakes. And the throttle up. And do a takeoff. What I'm going to do now is switch on the stabilize mode and it would use the IMU on the mic controller to stabilize the plane. So here it's on stabilize. If I move the joystick a bit, it's going to perturb it and it will move it back into place. You see the rudder going back and forth trying to stabilize the plane. It's not doing too well, but somewhat level. Now I'm gonna go to Mission Planner and grab the current location inside X-Plane. So here it is at the home location. I'm gonna set some waypoints. Six hundred seven hundred altitude in feet, so I'm gonna set this in meters since that's what the mission planner uses. Gotta write the locations. Here's the plane. Bring it back to manual. Now I'm going to turn on auto mode, which is going to be the full autonomous flight. It should go to waypoint 1. So cut off throttle. You see it's turning around now. See here, it's about 1300 meters from waypoint 1. Now 190 meters, 140, 50, it should be turning around now. Now you see here it's switched to now it's 3800 meters away from waypoint 2 so it's making its turn.
So it's coming to waypoint 2. 600 meters now. Three hundred meters, and you would see on X plane it's gonna start making its turn. Here it starts banking. And there you go. A second waypoint has been reached. Now it's 2800 meters from the third waypoint. I'm zooming in, you can see that the path that I took was still a bit over what it's supposed to be. So there's some cross track error still in the system. This could probably be fine tuned um, after I get some more realistic PID values. But it's going to involve some gain tuning to eliminate all the cross tracking errors. So 800 meters to waypoint 3. So now it's 300 meters to waypoint 3. Now throttle cut completely to zero now. It's coming about. And what did I set this point to? Four, three fifty. Wow, that's some huge air there, spanning several blocks. See, there's nowhere it's perfect right now. Still needs some tuning before I could try it on a smaller, smaller, closer waypoints. Now I didn't set a waypoint for or anything it's gonna do afterwards. So it's probably gonna fly off to infinity now. So here you see it's doing its own thing.